Welcome back to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We are on podcast 33. We are coming at you live from... And uh, it's a rainy day over here. <laughs> I was, like, I was okay. waiting for it. I'm like, where are we? <laughs> the address. True. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, All here right. We are. So big shout out to Ryan Ka. My man. For putting more time into, the, into this podcast than any of us have. <laughs> Yeah, hundred like, percent. When I was like, "Oh, what were we chatting about?" Oh, like country roads done four minutes. Uh, he time stamped like every five fucking minutes. Rob spilling water on Christian done time yeah. stamped. And then <laughs> roasted Rob at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the comments, had the audacity to thank us for liking his comment. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you? Unofficial mascot. Yeah, uh, we appreciate you. That's all you need to know. My favorite comment was from Brayden. Why can I vividly imagine Drew riding a scooter to places? <laughs> Man, I tail whip the hell out of those things. It's kind not of. Gonna lie. Drew, what was your comment? My two favorite. They go hand. I found one, and then I read the one below it, and I just have to throw that in there too. <laughs> First one is not gonna lie. Rob kind of acted like my friends did when they were goddamn nine. So yeah, he overreacted. Your followed friend. by at the start of the video, Rob was complaining that his clients were yelling at him for no reason. <laughs> then later in the video, Rob overreacted at Doggo for yeah, no reason. Yeah, but my doggos are my doggos. <laughs> my doggo. <laughs> my clients aren't team killing me in a game of Steve, man. Well, we'll keep They're on this subject. In, the game in, in life, their bro. mind, you did something equivalent to Doggo team killing you in Siege. But it's not me doing it. It's someone. It's it's the company. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Doggo doing it. It was the me. Company, though. We'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, roll with we'll, keep, we'll keep on this Rob train. Um, mine is uh, <laughs> Rob's circulation isn't cut off by his hat, so his true dumb is showing. <laughs> so good news, guys. Yeah, it's got That's the cap back. on this week. The thinking cap and the TML. Wouldn't yeah. it? Uh, Holy wouldn't it work it like, in reverse? Cutting off my circulation. Wouldn't that make me? L- no. That, no. He's already smarter. Look at him. I'm trying. I'm trying to work that one out. <laughs> the hat's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find as a couple. Well, this, my first one is Doggo. He commented saying, "I said sorry." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard you say it like a Canadian way. What? Sorry. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Is that weird saying it that sorry. way? Sorry. Sorry. Um, and I'm trying. You're weird. When sorry. when Rob sorry. constantly talks about football and weightlifting, you almost raise Canadian <laughs> until he says sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brings it full circle. Uh, I just lost circulation. One fuck. Fuck you, Omar Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Rob. And, uh, Omar's my man. Good one. Uh, there was one that I wanted to see. It was like a super in-depth like psychoanalysis of the... Uh, do- this- oh, here it is. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a, a novel. Terrible. Wait, let's see. So, okay. Oh, I, I was listen. reading that one. It's like this big. Let's say, okay, so it's like it's almost, it's almost like a reading. It's like a group reading session. Rob definitely Can't overreacted. Read. Knowing how Rob is, if Doggo and Rob switch places, Rob would have team killed Doggo in a heartbeat. I had the chance to, I just didn't team kill him. Sorry. Because he was one match off Platinum. <laughs> Rob has a more aggressive personality from what I've seen in the podcast. An aggressive person. I'm not even me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah. So him team killing Doggo if Rob was in Doggo's position is a pretty reasonable outcome. Only difference is that R- Doggo not getting so angry. Doggo seems to be in more control of his anger than Rob since it happens to him a good amount. Oh, 100%. We've all seen how Rob gets when he gets killed in Siege. I'll get, I'll get there's some validity there, some valid points, but I had the same opportunity Doggo did to team kill him. I just didn't take it. Mm-hmm. I felt that. It's on my arm, whatever that is. It's a spider. Oh, was it like a real spider? It's like yeah. a little tiny <laughs> spider. It's like a little like... No, that was just dust off egg. the spider. Uh, anyway, but, ADHD thing, my bad. But Should we go into... Should that be the theme of today's podcast? We're going to like psychoanalysis wrong? each yeah, other? do sure. it. Roast. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Wrong theme. That's next week. No, I feel like that could and get really week. dangerous. But no. Psychoanalysis so. of each other? Yeah, it might be the last podcast. I'm just going to say, I had the same opportunity Doggo did to kill him for a sub. I just didn't do it. Dude, watching Rob play man. Siege has honestly, it's both made me hate watching him, <laughs> but also enjoy watching Siege. It's funny. Because it's so I, I was watching him play, and the, entire an time, and the entire time I was messaging Becca, because she's like, like right now. Cause she's losing her mind, because she's saying how all this stuff is happening. Like Becca was trying to carry you guys. I think one match she went like 12 kills and they lost. She went 12 and 2 one game. Yeah, no, she went like, 12 and 0 and we won that game. <laughs> But like she's carrying all the time and they're constantly losing and she's like, I'm giving call outs and just no one's responding. She'd be like, it, it would be the equivalent if I was giving instructions to Rob on how to drive like a car 
he just kept fucking it up. <laughs> That's exactly what she said. Yeah, this guy's the best driver out there. Yeah. And then um, I, and I, I think I, I am. I have zero, zero, I have a clean traffic record. My insurance is 97 bucks per month. Continue. Ooh. I was watching uh, more of the stream and I think it was after, no, it was right before Becca left. They were playing on bank. And so oh, in the, at the front door, you can run out <laughs> if you're a defender and you can shoot left or right and you see both of the spawns. And so Rob, they call out, they're like, someone's running out main door. So then Rob's like, okay, I'm not going to peek him. But he still fucking just sprints forward like it's nothing. I was behind and the car. And then Kaid peeks out, you know, with that, like, sniper shotgun. That broken Kaid ass gun. Shoots Rob in the head, kills him, and Rob just goes on a huge rant. He's like, that is the most broken shotgun in the game. Who would ever think to implement something like that? Like, this is so broken. I'm like, Rob, You'll it was a headshot. <laughs> Any gun would have killed you. It's still a broken gun. Okay, yeah. So for the record, I was behind the cop car. You weren't thinking my head was hidden, and, there, and this, the kill cam the guy has like a pixel of my head showing, and, sh and he shoots me with the shotgun, and it kills me. I have a clip of it. <laughs> so do I. My there's, clips. More there's been, I've seen a bunch of clips come through the last bunch of days of you just losing it after yeah. getting headshot. There's one where there's like the gunfight in the hallway. And then you go on a massive rant yeah. after because you got tagged. Every time I died, I just, I can like, it's like a, a sixth sense kicks in. <laughs> I can feel someone clipping it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, man. I'm going to be watching this back in like an hour. Rob's just <laughs> the next T1. I played with him a bit after that as He's well. Because Rob like Tyler one? rage, mm -hmm. rage quit from ranked. <laughs> so I played with him and I was like, Rob, you have to just like, when you die, give a call out. Because so many times when he was playing, he would die. And all of his squad would be like, where'd you die from? Where are they? And Rob's just sitting there, like, fuming. Oh, and guys. then I saw him, like, just, like, smash his desk. <laughs> just say something. I mean, and then he gives the call out so late that his team is like, they're clearly not. Dead. It's a dude. It's the next round, man. You're spawned in. <laughs> dude, clearly the, not. The game's yeah. over. Well, listen, yeah. I'll never do the thing where people, like, take their keyboard and, like, smack it or, like, doing, like, actual damage to my You keep saying you want to summit one your monitor. Oh, summit one to my monitor. Yeah, I would we'll never actually do that. But okay, unless you had like a monitor, well, unless you've lined one up, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, hey, this keyboard's like a, old. Christian hooked me up. I paid a fake no, I don't monitor. have an extra. Wait, monitor. you clean them one up? Day. Where'd you give them? And he took it. What the heck? I paid a spare monitor. I would definitely do that. Like as a three. joke, I'd set it up on my stream as like my main monitor. Yeah. And like, and Fuck. Bang. And All of a sudden, one it. day you go to Rob's stream. It's just like one of those old CRV monitors. Hey guys, just all I could afford. It's nothing to see Television. I swear, I'm not gonna punch it or anything like that. But Drew, do you know the story of Summit 1G with the monitor? I like know kind of like what it is, but I've never heard this. I've never one day. What was what game was it? Do you guys know? I have no idea. I want to say or something? CSGO or maybe Tarkov. Maybe oh, it was maybe. CSGO in a building, wasn't it? I, I think, think so. I, I can picture the spot. He uh, like died and was super pissed off. So he just stood up and he just punched the shit out of his monitor and like <laughs> smashed it. <laughs> Foul and, punched like, it. And then as the, the monitors like the camera is just pointing at the back of the wall. And he's like, stream's over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, people turn it into an emote, like one of the it's moving so ones. Funny. So like, it's just Summit 1G. It's just him punching over and over again. Because like the last thing phenomenal. The, the, the webcam sees is just him <laughs> winding up. <laughs> it's great. I, I didn't know he had his, his own skin in Fortnite and stuff. Does he? Yeah. Apparently he was like one of the OGs to ever play it. Yeah, he was the one who made the game popular. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was the like original streamer to pick it up and tell Shit. people that it was good. And then he got bored of it. And then Ninja and them hopped on it. And then Tifu came along. Tifu was pretty late, I think. Well, he it played very uh, late, wasn't he? Dude, I think I didn't realize how many streamers started off on like games that like aren't their main game right now. Uh -huh. yeah. If that makes sense. Tim the Tapman started on Overwatch. He I never didn't plays know that. Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Moon Moon started on Overwatch. XQC started on Overwatch. I, I know, I know. Moon Moon and XQC. They were both uh -huh. tank mains on Overwatch. This guy's toast was yeah Hearthstone, and now he plays mainly like TFT and just does variety. Um, Moist critical. What did he start on? He was Who just like a random ass shit. He was just a YouTuber. Yeah. What about Shroud? Shroud was CSGO. CSGO. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. but, dude, we should, we should speculate on what Shroud's going to end up doing. Nothing. He's joining oh, he's joining a pro, pro team, team, isn't he? Yeah, pro team 100%. Valor, 100%. For Valorant, 100%. though, you think? 100%. I don't know. I just I feel like Valorant's like... like if he was going to do it, I, th I figured he'd be playing Warzone or something like that. Like something is kind of like bigger. 100% Valorant. He, like, Valorant's his CSGO is bigger. what like, but, made like, him But right big. now, like COD is like triple the size of... Valorant on Twitch most of, most of the time. Yeah, but here's the thing. He's going to join a Valorant pro team. Whenever there's any game with him in it, I'd your watch. views are going to skyrocket. Dude. Also, mm -hmm. if, if Shroud were actively streaming right now, Valorant would have almost as many viewers as... Just because of eh, I need to see that happen. And he's to not, he's it. Not, also, Warzone is probably going to die in the next year because they're probably just going to abandon it. Won't there I be like no pro scene for it? Like, you can't yeah, have well, a there pro Warzone. There's no... Like, 
like right now it's just tournaments like sponsored yeah. tournaments are kind of what mm -hmm. govern warzone but whereas when valorant pro league takes off it's probably going to have like a couple hundreds of thousands of people watching because well, league of legends any like tournament gets easily 200k well, which like, is more than warzone has overall league of legends production is better than fucking espn sometimes yeah well what we were talking about this one time it's like which is nuts. I bet, mm -hmm. like, we were saying uh, Valorant might become, like, in just an Asia-Pacific dominated game, just like League is. And the, cause, oh, yeah. Because people here are going to be playing, like, I don't know. I still, I think Warzone's going to have legs. I, I seriously think that. CSGO when, is still popular. When are they going to abandon it? I don't know. Because, like, they're not going to make another BR for this year's COD. They haven't, but the thing is, I haven't even talked about this year's COD yet, which leads me to think that they're just going to go all in on Warzone for, like, another six months or so at least. Maybe it's doing well for them. Yeah, like, like with all well their skins it. and stuff. Yeah, yeah like, but like you know how Activision is, they want their yearly yeah. game sales it's on true. top of the cosmetics. But like Warzone is doing very well for them. Right they, now. they would have to be absolute idiots to ab abandon Warzone to any degree right now. I think if they, mm -hmm. they would be dumb if they abandoned it right now. Like if yeah. it died off and they abandoned it, I could see it. But you're also talking it about the company well for them. that has had Call of Duties who have done incredibly well, and then they just abandoned it after six months. Let's put it this way: they shouldn't abandon it yet. But from, they've done it in the past. If they saying. do it, they're stupid. Yeah, that's they what I'm saying. Abandon I don't. Th it. I don't think they will. But again, I not, not a fucking clue. Not a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> not a doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not part of Big Pharma. Mm -hmm. I don't know that kind of shit. <laughs> Did you see know. the there was a new Red Dead update? No. They added like uh, you remember in the old ones where you could hunt like the legendaries. Yeah. Oh. There's, like, there's like gold animals now that you have so to hunt, get... and pretty much I don't I haven't done it yet. But you have to, like multiplayer, right? Yeah. You have yeah. to like sedate them, and then you have to turn them in. It's like another um, it's like moonshine. It's like travel. It's like another guild, I guess. I don't uh -huh. know how you call it. But can you can you make um armor or like, so, clothing out of this? So I I only did the beginning cutscene, and then there's this one lady who's like, well you. Sure, you were gone all weekend. Shut up. Is anyway, I'm downloading it. I did it, and then I killed like a rat. No, and then on my screen, it's like <laughs> this lady's gonna get mad at you every time you kill an animal. I'm like, oh, she's gonna be pissed. <laughs> she's gonna be mad. So I assume you can probably go two routes. You can either sell it to the dude that gives you a ton of money, or go with her. So pass this route. You know I'm making money. <laughs> I'm making I'll, money moves. I'll, I'll download it again. Sweet. We'll play. Just kidding. You'll, yeah. Anyway. But I'm just. I was thinking, about, randomly going back to the shroud thing. Like he Welcome was, back. he was the uh, main. Like I started watching Twitch because of Shroud, because of his Apex streams. So like, there's probably gonna be people oh, Apex. Like, yeah, there's probably gonna people like that Apex who are like, Legends. I think Shroud could pick up any game he wanted to and have like, yes. at least twenty k. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and then if he's good now. at it, he's well, I mean, he's, he's gonna. But be if you were to pick up Valorant, he would probably have what fifty k. 40 I would imagine. I'd probably. Well, here's. I'd put it more towards 50 or 60k. That's what I think. Isn't the problem is like with Valorant? He said he'd go pro, but he wouldn't stream and go pro at the same time because then he'd give away all of his strategies. Well, he's so if he's not. Yeah. Well, that's what stopped him in the past from going pro again because he's like, I can't, I can't do the scrims. So I think and he's going pro in Valorant and like just putting his energy to that, like not streaming, mm -hmm. just going. I pro. think if he comes back to Andrew, I, I bet he would stream something though. Well, he doesn't need to stream anymore. He doesn't need the money. He's got 10 mil. Uh, he didn't even need the money before the mixer. Just go pro. Just Yo, play with, with your friends. Bio? How much did he get from that? 10 mil. 10 mil. Fucking hell, US. dude. Mm -hmm. Which is weird. I thought it would be a lot more. That meant he was only earning 5 million a year on Twitch. Still, that's still oh, a lot oh, of money. Only, like, for him? <laughs> yeah, but like, well, how much in the comparison? The problem is he can work for a year and retire. How much did Ninja make in comparison? How much 30 mil. So yeah. his buy was 30. Throw three. So they assume it's Ninja's three times the size of Shroud. But Ninja probably got a bunch of donations or something. They don't count donations. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's only for subs. So bits. Shroud was making a lot more than 5 mil. What? Who'd have had to? The, so the mixer contracts were based off of... Um, they'd take like the last six months, average it to a per month salary, and then they'd pay you that for two years. That's what I was offered. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that's what everyone was offered. So like if he was making, say, 5 mil... A year, yeah. He would have been making a ton more on Twitch. But he could, have got, he could have gotten oh, yeah, a yeah, signing yeah. bonus too. Yeah, I but don't they, think they offered signing bonuses. I, so the theory right now is that most of the Twitch streamers moved over to Mixer because of what like happened with me, where Twitch isn't paying out what you're supposed to be yeah, earning. Yeah, if you're getting hit with X amount of thousands, could you imagine what theirs is? Yeah, because like, let's say what, I had 11,000 yeah. subs and I was missing 10K from one month. You, like so US. and if he yeah and if he no canadian i think Whatever. regardless and he uh, a lot of money to not if get. he's at like 70k subs that <laughs> means like easily 70k per month that's crazy dollars missing that's nuts what's the most about concurrent subs anyone's ever had 
Is there a uh, ninja 250k? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah. But it wasn't was that only month. for like, yeah, it was, it was one month. It it's actually, still nuts. It didn't yeah. even last like a day. I'm pretty sure the next day it like dropped by 10k and then dropped. Yeah, but that, still. Yeah, it's and still then, was it and then was he, it had the the infamous, he had the infamous tweet what? right <laughs> after that where he's just like, um, man, streaming is really hard because like I took two days off and I already lost 40,000 subs. It's Oof. like, wow, feel bad for you guys. Oof. Darn, man, you're, you're only making like what? 700k this month you poor soul mm -hmm. what a guy I just remember that's like yeah that's a million plus probably with all the donations in a month and then on top of that yeah the the drake thing that he said i was gonna say the drake yeah. thing is probably like that one was the best the drake thing probably contributed he, to that he tweeted out saying how drake had used him for oh. his fame <laughs> like, like yeah man drake used you yeah. for his friend <laughs> like jesus although did mm -hmm. you guys see about ninja that he's like setting his course for hollywood I said that he, said, that. Like, he does he wants to do like acting, voice acting, um, like all this different stuff. I will never watch a movie with him in it. I feel like in he all, was already in a movie apparently. I, yeah, I feel I like in watch, yeah, it, I feel like in uh, all Jason honesty. Bourne. In all his, I bet his voice it wouldn't be too bad. Wait, his he, voice acting would be okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him that. He, but like, he's, I, he's I like starring in like an action movie. If I movie. see his face yeah. in a movie and I'm in a theater at some point in my life, I'm walking. So, hey guys, unless, yeah, unless some it's point like a in my quick, life. Well, I'm not going to a theater right now, but <laughs> I could see it like a quick cameo. But like, yeah, I don't he, want to see him as a main character. He had a cameo, and I think it was a Ryan Reynolds movie about like video games. Oh, so fair. That, that gamer one where he wakes up in a BR. Yeah, but that's that's fair. I really wanted to see that movie. I can't watch it now. Darn. I don't think I, I don't I'm remember lucky. it coming out. I remember seeing the I'm commercials lucky. for it, but I don't remember it being like now in theaters. It was a really recent one. Oh, maybe it's it not, might out not even yet. be out yet. Yeah, fuck. I remember the last time. What was the last movie you guys saw in theaters? I can't remember. <laughs> like Probably well, like one this. of the Avengers. Honestly. Yeah, mine would have been. It would have been with Brisa. I'll, I'll I'll check back with you. Mine might have been Black Panther. What kind of That's kind of where I'm a while ago. Too. Yeah, I haven't been in a long time. Actually, so, we, me and, Annie, and I went a lot. We me and Annie went to movies three times before, like when we were starting to date. First date. Like first, uh, no, second one was Black Panther, like for a second date, uh, and then like fifth day or something was Jurassic World. Classic. The the That's second one's fucking awesome awful, movie. awful movie. Worst fucking movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I didn't mind it. It's okay. All right, well, it we'll did nothing awful. for me. Yeah, and then um. It we didn't watched move the one more and I can't remember what it was but yeah we watched like three in our uh, entirety of someone, relationship I forget who it was really it's like an old coach I was like never take a girl to the movies on a first date because you can't talk to her and get to know her <laughs> yeah it's an awful first date and I was date. like yeah. oh it's it works out what if you're not, not like I'm trying to be a little more shy in like a first or second date so yeah. maybe it's like a good like you know Sneak in a question or two during the movie. Sneak in a, a I hear cut you. hole at the bottom of a popcorn. <laughs> Man, yeah. Here's Tanner. the thing, though. The alternative is dinner dates, and I think they're the dumbest thing ever. Dinner dates? You're, they're like, the point of a date is to talk, get to know someone, whatever. So you're going to purposely go somewhere where you're stuffing your mouth full and can't talk to them. Makes no sense. Okay. Perfect cameo. First date. Where'd you take Brie? Didn't. Wait, what do you mean? Well, you would have had to have a first date eventually. Did you say for cameo? Yeah, I didn't. Well, whatever, yeah, you whatever, 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 whatever. Jesus. A hundred percent would have been movies. We go to the movies all the time. But what, what was the first date though? Which is also kind of funny because you can't really talk to them yeah. in the movies. But like, mm -hmm. we were already dating at that point, so it's I like guess I'm yours was all like weird and fuzzy. Yeah. What was yours? Yours was like a pizza thing. Yeah, we went pizza hopping mm -hmm. to like three different places, and then went to McDonald's after. That's not a bad idea. Fucking fat asses. Mine was we went to. We had two extra. Look. We went to like like Saint Jacobs and ate all you can eat like in a small place, and then like walked the river, and then so you have best of both worlds. You get that whole okay. You're eating a lot. The issue is is like you gotta the person first date they gotta pass the can this person eat food test. Yep. Yep. What kind of so food too? You you assemble a nice all you can the eat. Same test. You can assemble a nice all you can eat and see if they're picky. Um. I, my test would be can the person make it through a movie without talking because the worst thing is when you go to a movie with someone and they're just chatting Not at you the me. whole time <laughs> I was gonna say this guy this guy's like yeah you try to pop in a bunch of questions through yeah. the movie <laughs> it's like middle of an action she's like so do you got any siblings do you have any, do you have any pets <laughs> how old your sister <laughs> people have you had sex with <laughs> shut the fuck up well let me think my first oh, relationship shit. never really had a first date it was just i was bagging her groceries remember that mm -hmm. you were bagging her bagging uh. her groceries well that's how you met i'm sure you had to do something after like, we, like Wait, we'd go for lunch and stuff groceries? yeah 
not she, like talking to her while she worked with you? Like, that's what I'm talking about. She like, was a cashier. He oh, was you were bagging getting, the yeah, groceries. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like she was like on the day off coming to get groceries and you were bagging her no, groceries. Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Drew. I oh, mean, I only goodness. worked there for a year. And my other two first dates were like, it's 1 a.m. Yeah. Come over for some Netflix, you know. Perfect. Some Netflix. That's how you start a you relationship. Out of this place? <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you start a, a nice, healthy, we'll go, we'll go somewhere a little quieter. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> a little more comfy. <laughs> but yeah. Rob pours her a nice glass of red wine, drinks both of them. <laughs> that's why Rob's not used to being quiet during a movie. <laughs> yeah. You could say that. Jeez. Uh, Silent but deadly. That's what they call me. It also means farts, too. Okay. <laughs> Wow. He also claims they called him the tripod in high school. <laughs> <laughs> the tripod. The tripod. <laughs> I convinced people to, like, to keep calling me that too. It's no no one called you that. Some people hey, yo, did. Hey, tripod, what you doing, little boy? No, I'm just being a Jeez. tripod. I'm, I'm just letting it all hang out tonight. <laughs> Probably tripod. I'm just going to soap it up uh, and down. I'm literally calling him tripod for the rest also, of the year. I want to go back to the first date thing. So you said a dinner date's awful because you're, you're stuffing your yeah, mouth and, and you can't talk. Yeah, and then I said talk. movies. I know. <laughs> so the reason why dinner dates are the worst is not because you're stuffing your mouth. It's because you're stuck there. You can't do shit. You can't, if it's a bad date, you can't leave. Well, no, you just like, muscle call from through. your girlfriend. Oh, shit. My hamster just Have died. Have you ever seen that movie? No. I, it might it might be hitch it might not but like basically plus 50 first dates something like that. <laughs> it might be I, yeah. I don't know this girl gets like her friend to like these are classic movies you I have know to watch I, I've seen it I don't think that was from that was like, she gets her friend shit. like every day she goes on to give her a call and then if it's going poorly like it, it gives her an out it's like oh this emergency is happening or then if it's like not going or if it's going fine she's like oh no like I'm I'm good I don't need it and whatever and then like hangs up and goes on the date hmm. imagine like being on a date with a chick and like she gets a call. Oh, I have to go. You just know, like, fuck me, dude. Yeah. I, sh- yeah. I, I fucked this date up pretty bad. It hasn't happened to me before. It was has it? or hasn't? Hasn't. Okay. Was it you who was talking to a girl? It might Probably. be. Okay, I'm going to tell the point. story. I, if it's you, let me know. Maybe, maybe at one point it was. But I know it was someone that we <laughs> I'll know. I'll talk to girls, man. <laughs> was talking to a girl, and then they stopped responding or, like, just weren't talking as much. And whoever it was was just like, oh, like, it's not worth it. Like, they're just not messaging him anymore. And we found out that her brother had died. That was not me. And then the person was just like, well, they should still message me. <laughs> that was not me, I'll tell you that much. Rob. It wasn't me. Rob. You're an asshole. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Who, who would it have been, though? It was one of our friends. I would remember, I would remember that. It might have been from Zares. It might have been from like those days. Niall? No. no. <laughs> he's, he's been with Brittany for too long. Mm-hmm. True. It might have been one of the other fuckboys from Zares. But I remember them being like, oh, well, like... Was it they- Doily? It was probably Josh or Dane. Probably, probably one of those groups, yeah. yeah. One of those dudes. <laughs> but I remember them talking about him being like, oh, like, they should still be messaging me or say something. That's bad. Not that's, leaving me on red. a it's like- little lack of self-awareness there. Mm-hmm. Well, I've, I've been ghosted so many times. Just I'm just numb to it, man. I just assume... <laughs> oh, she's probably busy, you know? Rob's like, oh, the end of that cycle. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's run it back. Delete off Snap on follow on socials. I, I love whenever Rob has anything with a girl because when it comes to an end, he's just like, well, I, I don't know what to do, man. Like, I keep, chasing, run. <laughs> I keep chasing the wrong girls. Like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Next day, just like, oh, I found a new girl, man. Like, check, check Load, her out. Loads up Tinder. <laughs> E-girls have been my latest plague, man. I'll, I'll, I'll air it out now if I have to. I need help. You guys got to straighten no, your I, course out. I'm enjoying this. You have to. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, because, like, it's like a meme at this point almost. It's yeah. like, which e-girls is going to be next? <laughs> exactly. It's, are we wrong? It is a meme. <laughs> so that's, that's what happens when you spend too much time on Twitch, I think, man. Oh, yeah, you, for sure. You, you, like, you, like, at Christian first, doesn't have an e-girl. I mean, Roy. Well, kinda, at, but, at first you point and laugh. Oh, look at all these fucking simps, man. And then you start to spend more time on Twitch. And then you're like, find damn. more and more like girls. And you're just like, but like, should I follow them? Should I start talking and see if they notice me? Is that where the Simpsons came from? What? The Simpsons? What? It's like Jamieson, which is like the son of Jamie. And it's like Simpsons, like the son of Simps. <laughs> it could be, man. Yeah. I'd say, oh, I, I, you say that, and I just what? imagine that, like, picture of that. Shane and Chris are like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <What's, what's, laughs> like, Dude, the, you no, nailed it. The show with like, the guy, Jeez. like, he has, like, a network of paper behind him. He's going, like, crazy. Oh, the It's Always Sunny. Yeah. 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 That's, just, that's what I just visualized visualize in my head when Drew was telling that story. Whenever Drew tells any story. <laughs> <laughs> are we, are say, we considering that a story? Yeah, like, <laughs> and whenever Drew says anything. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Wait, Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Always Sunny? It's Always Sunny. Okay. But... Yeah, you need to you need to get off the simp train and start. I'd say keep simping until um, until it works out. Fuck it. No, until like COVID is all done 
and you yeah. can actually go out in public. Again the, da- and... the dangerous part is I don't want Rob to get stuck in that. Like I won't. We can pattern. break him out. I don't think. I, I think I have we'll enough self awareness we'll to know. Like, like, well, here's the thing. We I, we definitely provide that. Oh yeah. Um, we will bring you down to earth. Don't you yeah, worry. Don't, so if, if, hey, if the day comes, if we I'll have need to, it. If we have uh, to ruin a friendship to save your life, we'll do it. We'll gladly do it. <laughs> we live for those if moments. I'm we too we hard, don't want to ruin the friendship, but if you're simping <laughs> hard, I will fucking bottom you out to make sure that you don't ruin your life. It depends on what extent of simp we're talking. If we're talking like any, tier three. Any, like any extent. Tier three subs. <laughs> Jeez. I've gone tier to three the, subs, you've gone too far. I just yeah. give up yeah, on you're you. Gone. I've gone to the point with Rob where I try to stop helping with the little things because after Bree straight up told rob saying like do you want to have sex with my friend like she needs it bad and <laughs> rob just like oh it's too much work <laughs> like he just like she Can't gave him the, the number gave her the number and he just couldn't bring himself to message her because he's like it's it's too much but well, the next e-girl that rolled around he's like oh man this is the one <laughs> three days in so guys i dm'd her guys I <laughs> guys it. i did it i felt dangerous this morning yeah, <laughs> yeah. I woke that up was so dangerous. funny yeah that killed me <laughs> woke up feeling dangerous today Sent that one is clearly yeah. a joke <laughs> no <laughs> it was like it was on the fence here's but... the thing that maybe the comment was but the dm was definitely set oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that part is not a joke <laughs> didn't work out no f and chat for your boy out here just getting, I'm, dude. I've, I've just suffered through so much heartbreak, man. Like, you know what I mean? There's just nothing out there, out there not, for me. It feels is bad, that heartbreak? man. Yeah. Okay. Like, there's just. I'm she just gonna be single till I'm like 45. I hope so. And then they're gonna, they're gonna just like create Rob. robot girlfriends. <laughs> and you're Rob, good. You're 24. Uh, dude, there's yeah, just got, there's nothing out there for me, man. This is just your like boys the tweet are good until <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't give up now. I'll just adopt, man, if I have to. Me and you're my just gonna be the next Hugh Hefner. Wouldn't that be nice? I, for a second, I was like, "Wait, who's who's who?" You have Rob. Maybe I, I think I who's see. Who I, I think I see the problem here. There's just, there's just nothing. The girls out there for you me. chase are ones you shouldn't chase. What? And Dude. then you talk about how like your ideal setup is like a married with kids. And you're like, oh, that'd be pretty cool to be Hugh Hefner. True. <laughs> you got to start looking for the the people who are married with kids. I'll just start. Just I'll break start, it. Get I'll, start, there. I'll start dating four. Just skip the middle oh, yeah. step. Skip the middle <laughs> step. Just start. Just home wreck. I'll just insert myself into like a. It's like a single mom. Or with look like five for kids. divorced single moms. That works too. Uh, there's just more of option B <laughs> instead of option A. I, I bet there's a dating app for divorced single moms. I'll never forget <laughs> that. Yeah, probably. Wait, what would it be called? Single and ready to mingle. I don't know. No, that's yeah. too long. No, yeah, too long. Wouldn't wouldn't download. I'll Div- never forget the divorced and horny. The one, <laughs> too the forward. one conversation we had, where <laughs> we, we know we know that if they're on the app, <laughs> where uh, Rob was talking to that one girl from work and she was inviting him over to hang out when she had a boyfriend, and Rob was just like, uh... it was like me and Shane were the. Angel and devil on his shoulder. I don't think you were around just for that. Just beep it out and give me a name. And, uh, no, I'm not, I don't edit these. I'm not beeping it out. <laughs> that, can I see the initials or is that too suspect? No, we'll just wait till after. Yeah, we'll tell you after. Idiot. But anyways, tell where I was now. just like, um, the girl like has a boyfriend. Posts all about all the time about her boyfriend, and then was inviting Rob over because she was home alone. She, I was like, and then Rob's just like, should I do it? Like, we he's always wanted to bang her from work. And I was like, Rob, don't fucking do this. She has a boyfriend. Like, you have a moral compass. And then she's <laughs> like, fuck it, dude. Like, just, <laughs> just go. go. Yeah. What's this hurt? Yeah. I remember that. I don't know. Just it is. No. He ended up, no. no. And I was just like, I'm proud of is you, Is who I think it is? Oh, just wait Probably. till after, you dumb fuck. No, I want to know now. <laughs> Jesus. This is where the ADD kicks in. Yeah, my God. I was going to say, I'll give you a combo. I was gonna say, I'll give you a hint, but that would have the hint would have been like a dead Yeah, no, just, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a big believer of uh, of karma, you know? Uh-huh, and what? Yeah. What you you reap what you sow. You no definitely are thing. not because you <laughs> you've done so much shit that you would it's get not, shit like back. you did all those like, nice things back then, so that all these e girls flock after you now. Rob, yeah. Rob's karma system's the same in Red Dead. I just murdered thirty people. I pet my horse once. All good. All good. The gods look down on me. Like, They're happy. I'll never willingly. <laughs> like, you it's the even same brush all the dust off. Like, yeah, exactly. Right. I don't brush. I don't feed the horse. Give him a pat. I'll and never. I'm good. And I'll. I've never have, and I'll never willingly like. Insert myself into another relationship, though. That's one thing I would never be able to. Well, there goes you the really hole. questioned it, though. But I didn't do it. And I was young. I, guess, I but, was like but 17. But the process to get there was like two hours of me and Shane back and forth being like, don't fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, I, I was supporting fuck, it. Yeah. Like, again, don't it was your it, one chance. You just do it. It's just like... 
What I if, was, what I if she young? just genuinely wanted to watch a movie? <laughs> I come over. We knew like, her. <laughs> just like we knew her. On, I'm in the middle of the couch, just like blocking us yeah. off. Yeah. So uh, hey, I just wanted to hang out. Drew's losing his mind right now. It's the know. best. Mm-hmm. This is like probably what people felt like on the podcast where Rob wasn't here and we just didn't mention him. <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck is where Rob? Is he? Where is he? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys? I think I said last week. How many people messaged me asking me if I had COVID? <laughs> what oh, yeah. was the total though? Like oh 30? man, by now because like there's people who like don't listen to the podcast like a week after I guess and they like, messaged me like, "Yo, do you have COVID?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, like fuck, I probably deleted like 35 requests already. <laughs> Just some like that's perfect. It'll be like some random Instagram account with like 30 followers, and the the picture will be like the rainbow six icon or like some <laughs> anime profile and it's just like yo do you have COVID-19 <laughs> it's like yeah man I love I'm it lucky. it's just but. like when I put in the video cause Rob was saying shit like are you a real frog over and over again he's oh, like yo man. can you please put that in a video <laughs> so I put it and I told everyone to at Rob and say it and he's like what the fuck is this man like what's going on that's the funniest 150 day. mentions in a day bro <laughs> and I forgot about the video it was like in, the, in like one hour Rob probably like Dang. woke up or like grabbed his phone he's like Oh, this is amazing. No. What's going on? I blew up. I had and like then... 350 new Twitter followers. <laughs> but then like one out of every three new followers is tweeting at me being like, are you a real frog? <laughs> Rob's like, mom, I made it. I made it. I'm going to get a paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Are you a frog? And then literally all I see is like, and I, I think I changed my uh, profile picture that day. And like you can tweet saying like my new picture, right? 70 responses. And like if you look through, it's like two are like, oh man, it's like come about Kirk Cousins. Yeah. And it's like, are you a frog? Are you a frog? <laughs> I can probably dig that tweet up and I can find it, but. Yeah, that was definitely it, uh, one of the most confusing mornings I've had. I was like, wait, what? Whenever one, my Twitter's blowing up. Two, why does everyone think of a frog all of a sudden? <laughs> Whenever I have those like really old clips, because like sometimes I'll go two yeah. months without editing like a uh, type of video, and then I get I dig up the old clips, and it's just shit that like Rob has said or Doggo has <laughs> said, perfect. and like please add them on Twitter, mm-hmm. and people actually do it. it. Makes my day. That's the best part because I'll I'll I won't watch one of your videos for a while. And then I'll click on a random one, and it'll be me. And I'm like, but I haven't played Siege with him in forever. Yeah. And it's just like the oldest clip. And I'm like, I didn't even know that. Like, <laughs> and, what? Then, and then the, the caption's like, played with Drew last night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's usually from like you, towards the end of the season, and no one wants to play. So I'm like, all right, I got to go digging in the archives. I have like 500 matches from two months ago. Yeah. True. I feel that. I'd, random note, I didn't realize how big like a video file was until like we started doing them. Like yeah. one video, like one 25 minute stage match was like 10 gigs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the when fuck? I, when I edited it down, um, like not, not even like trimming it or anything, but just like it goes down in quality and <clears throat> um, compression and stuff. It's like goes from 10 gigs down to probably like 2.5, 3 gigs. So I thought it was going to be like 2 gigs max the per pod- video. Even that's huge. The yeah. podcasts are like 12 gigs rendered. Hmm. Of just like, to like, upload. When, when like I have to upload them overnight because it's like two and a half hours, three hours. When mm-hmm. it was just audio, how much was the what was the size of it? For like the audio part, yeah, probably like five hundred megs. It's because it's so long. Mm-hmm. Like normally, like a yeah. like a song file will be like five megs. Yeah, and since the podcast is like an hour and a half, it'll usually be That's pretty crazy. big. That that gives me a a mental prompt. I need help oh, great. choosing a new music platform because. Because here's how I usually did my music. It's pretty pretty sketchy. Okay. So I would like I had this just like use Spotify. pretty sketchy. So I'm gonna put it out on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I had this like, LimeWire. <laughs> I had this bootleg version of iTunes. It wasn't even the right iTunes on my old computer. And then I would. Don't hear anymore. <laughs> and then I would. <laughs> I've heard enough. Go what do you mean? I've heard enough. Can you just explain? What do you mean bootleg iTunes? It, I did, it wasn't, it's like when he, he torrented Smite. It wasn't actually iTunes. Oh, so it's like a clone yeah. so that you could put music on your yeah, phone? Yeah, it's like an MP3 interface. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> it would then, just trick your phone into thinking it's iTunes. Well, yeah, because I, I had like a 2007 iPod Nano or something. <laughs> and like it wouldn't work with normal iTunes because it was too old, recent yeah. or too old. And then I was like, fuck. I mean, I, I'm too attached to this iPod to get rid of it. Plus, I don't like bringing my phone to the gym because I spend all my time on it if I bring it. So I was like, I need a music alternative. So I downloaded this like... I don't know what the fuck it's called, man. It looks like, literally looks like Power or uh, Microsoft Word, but like, it has a MP3 <laughs> capabilities. That, okay. was the, <laughs> that, was, that was the last piece of software I thought you were gonna. No, for real. Fair. It's, it's been really like weird. Chrome or like. It's like they tried to like hide it as like an MP3 thing, but I don't know. It's, it's like it looks like some dude like, they copied and pasted the code from source code for like Microsoft Word and someone turned it into like an MP3 <laughs> like platform. It's perfect. Anyway, so I would like. 
go to YouTube and then like copy and paste the URL of YouTube videos and put them into a YouTube MP3 converter. I used to do that all the time. Yeah. And then I, I would just do that. And I would just download that and I would just do all that as my as how I got my music. But mm -hmm. now on my new computer, I'm too scared to download the old program because it had like lots of sketchy pop-ups. So I would try to download like .exe files. So then I was like, now I have to make the jump to either Apple Music, Spotify, or like, and that's it realistically just go to spotify I'm pretty sure uh, prime has one too yeah because prime has music but there's just not as much selection on it and i heard the mobile app's kind of garbage go to spotify i just Zero. realized my phone doesn't even have a music app nice the natively like, there's spotify yeah. right there i mean like one where you load files onto oh, your okay. phone and listen like yeah, why it, would it? it should it should because like there's like a Samsung music app. My old phone had a Samsung like built in. I have a Google. Music. So like Pixel. everything's just Spotify, Apple Music. Like there's yeah, no. So point. like, did they just get rid of it now? Probably. Probably. So it's probably Spotify is one. probably their like proprietary. I have like the Google Play Store music, but you have to buy songs. I'm pretty sure. You. Boo. Boo. So I don't think you can. Oh. Uh, no, no. Yeah, it's for subscription. You have to subscribe to use it. It's like yeah. Spotify. Hmm. So, so I guess like they don't even support just native MP3 drops anymore. Probably. Uh, uh, nobody uses them. <laughs> well, I did. But like as I'm pretty I sure like they even still make iPod touches, and I'm pretty sure those would just use like Apple Music, which is I guess different because it's like they just changed their music app to Apple Music. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I just like I don't think there's any more like way you can like attach your iPod into your computer and like manually manage it that way. I think it all has to be done off it your phone. It makes sense because like, think about it like this. If you sold a hundred iPods, how many people of those 100 are actually going to pay for individual songs? Nobody. Zero. Like probably 3%, Maybe. like three of the hundred <laughs> will do it. Cause like mm -hmm. iTunes still had a lot of sold songs. Yeah. But then I feel like the rest of them are just going to download them. Well, because it's not that hard. I think they're getting rid of iTunes altogether pretty soon. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, mm -hmm. that's why they probably moved away from that being like, okay, if we take, let's say, to be generous, 10% of all people will pay for an individual song and the rest all download it. Generous. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Well, it's a dollar um, each, right? Per song. There's a lot of people who are scared of technology and will pay I'm for stuff. But anyways. Song in ages. Yeah, I mean, I don't even see I don't know if I ever have. I definitely have. Saying 10%. Or you completely get rid of the music app I and you have 100%. to like do a subscription-based service mm -hmm. and you get guaranteed revenue from that. Like it kind of makes more sense yeah. from their approach. So yeah, I'm, I am thinking Spotify because my, I think my sister's on a family plan or something. Oh. I mean, she can add me on to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but, under my parents' family plan on Spotify. But the thing is, I can't even pay I for it on Spotify. I have a free, I have uh, my own Apple music. I have a free month but of Spotify. Spotify. They think I'm a student still, so I get half off. Because <laughs> I have a free month of Apple Music, so I kind of want to try that and see which one I like better. I like Apple Music better. Fair. Apparently, Google Play Music is really good because you can go to YouTube and you can download the songs from YouTube onto your phone. Do you have to pay for that, though, somehow? It's a like Spotify subscription oh. type Actually, thing. Apple Music, I, I had some chart on Reddit the other day of like how much each stream pays the actual artist, and Apple Music was above Spotify. Here's which, the thing. By almost... like. By almost double, Here's which surprised me. Why do I care about that? You know, I just want to listen to my music. Is Spotify Apple Music is super also convenient. more expensive? It's, not, it's how 10 much bucks a month, I think. No. Yeah. I think Spotify both, is 8? I think I so. I want to say Spotify is 8.99 and Apple Music is literally 9.99. But that $1 mm -hmm. makes a difference. $12 a there year. You go. $24 but hey, supporting, a, the, supporting I think the peeps. The main reason for that is probably support because... Support my boy Drake. He's going, he's going hungry. I'm pretty sure iTunes has like way more high-profile artists. So they probably have to yeah. like give them a bigger share in order to keep them. Whereas Spotify kind of just like you can submit whatever you want. Our fucking podcast is on Spotify. It's obviously <laughs> not. I love fucking Spotify. <laughs> all, all those Israelites. We love you guys. Yo, you. trending in Israel. No, but that was for Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Uh, we were like number 149 or something in Israel. I think it was we cracked the, so those three people who are watching us from Israel. We cracked the top Thank 200. You. Those, Thank three, you. Those, three, those three guys are probably high five. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. For let's out. go, boys. Let's go. It's <laughs> jokes. But what? um, <laughs> what about uh Joe Rogan though, man? He's yeah, he's only on Spotify. Have you heard the conspiracy theories about Joe Rogan and Shroud in them? Uh -uh. No. no, that uh they have a conspiracy theory going on that Spotify is gonna start up its own like live streaming oh, I service, did hear that. I like did Twitch, hear that. Yeah. and that they're gonna take like Shroud Ninja and Doctor Disrespect. Like that theory was based on him getting banned. Because um, he signed contract with Twitch, so they think they banned him because he's going to Spotify, mm -hmm. and that's why they got Joe Rogan, so that they can have like all these big people on their platform and launch really oh, large. So right, I was a well, Joe Rogan just makes sense. He's the biggest podcaster, or mm -hmm. one of. 
But like, yeah. oh, he's just exclusive there. He's I think been, the he's, only one that's bigger might be Misfits. Yeah, I think that's the biggest one. Because Joe Rogan's like he pumps out content. It's like content. It's like five a week, ranging from an hour to yesterday he or two days ago he he uploaded one with Post Malone that was three hours. Really? And then he uploaded I can't remember the guy. His, his, he's an artist because I watched the second one, not the Post one. It was three hours as well. Meaning like he pumped out two in a day. And he's just, and the funniest thing is the second guy that sat down, he was talking for like 10 minutes. He's like, this mic smells like Post Malone. (laughs) 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 I was dying. (laughs) But yeah, he pumps out content. Jeez. But yeah, two, three hour in a day. so well for him. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Post Malone one was millions after a day. Yeah. Was he still doing it all throughout quarantine? Like still flying people in and. Well, he doesn't, you, you, you gotta kind of be in LA. Most of the people now are from LA. Yeah. The thing is, is um, they all get tested. He's got his own like private doctor that comes and tests everyone. Really? Damn. Yeah, please, Joe Rogan things, man. Dude, well, but he's got the money for he it. He was getting clowned on Twitter for a while though, because he said that like, gaming is a waste of time. And then, but and the people people would quote people were like, Joe Rogan out here saying gaming is a waste of time. Then he released a three hour podcast on whether a, gr- a grizzly can beat up a gorilla or something. <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah. pretty funny. I was like, viable, viable Fair. comeback. So the issue with like how he was phrasing it is he was trying to say, if you spend three hours gaming, the likelihood of you making anything productive out of that is incredibly slim. Which is fair. Where, but then people, he was trying to make the argument being like, you could do martial arts or something. But then he also, <laughs> after that, tried to make the argument about making a career out of it. Some people are like, why would I spend three hours doing martial arts? Like the people who make careers out of martial arts are super, super slim. And so there's, like, they're spending eight hours doing yeah. that. So like it was kind of taken out of context, but also still somewhat within context. Yeah. He was trying to like just basically say that you could probably get more life skills doing other stuff than gaming, which is which is fair. fair. Yeah, which well, is a like, fair take. That's any, any hobby Can't though. Really it's like, if, hey, if you're enjoying yourself and like having fun and you finish thinking like, man, that was a good time. As long as it's not like you're gaming with like seven hours per day. It's and like also, to be fair to Joe Rogan, he also has like admitted himself that he it gets addicted to video games. Like, I, I can't remember. Doom. Yeah, Doom. Doom. He said he would be playing it like 10 hours a day. Well, this was non-stop. back in the, This was way back. Yeah, so he's yeah. just like, I had like, I can't play games anymore because he yeah. just like. And, he, and he's also said many times he's, he thinks like VR is like the future. Like that's the future of everything. And he's All like, right, Ready Player One. Yeah, ready yeah. One. It was, it's funny. He's going to be hiding his own Easter eggs in our future VR world, man. Maybe. Oh, I, yeah. I brought my VR headset here finally. Oh, hey. where is it? From Let's where? set it up. In my it? car. Hey, the bathroom is big enough. Actually, wait. <laughs> the steam room. Turn no, the steam literally, on. that's the VR car? area right there. <laughs> no. No. So we should play five, five Minutes at Freddy's Idiot. in VR. Are you going to do that? Well, I actually... You're, you're moving out. Your room's the VR room. <laughs> no. So, me and Drew were talking about... Yes. <laughs> me and Drew were talking about something. I can't disclose some other information. Oh, no. but, we'll, we'll get it after. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I doubt it. This guy is on the inside? Drew was telling me about how, like, maybe we should just post some variety content to the Bag Boys channel. I agree. Um, like so like halo campaign stuff like that um and then i was also thinking so i just bought the mega jenga so like we might do a tournament vlog it and yeah. just upload it That'd for be fun jokes. could do like vr stuff like that just like throw in random things mm-hmm. help grow the bag boys channel a little bit i feel like fun. again as long as it's like the four of us in the video mm-hmm. you're good mm-hmm. yeah because yeah. then it's like a a group yeah thing it's just some people um we have <clears> issues Rob. scheduling with um Actually, I th- <laughs> <laughs> well, like, look at Rob. I'm like, wait, no, it's usually Drew, but it's sometimes Rob. But no, Rob I think it's just your stream time cuts into like everything that's a, that's we do. The, I know it's just that's the only time of the day I'm able to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say for debate. I would say I don't think the stream time is as much of a factor. <laughs> when else could I do it? Uh, I don't know. When you finish work, do it right after work. Well, then I can't work out because I'm not going to stream right after work and be too tired to work well, out after. You got priorities, man. Pick just stream a little earlier on your nap days. I, I'd say, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I'd say the bigger issue with Rob, and I say this with love, is his inability to cancel stream, because he he will be like, no, I can't cancel. Like we have to work around it. Whereas like I'm like, well, you could take one day off. Well, see, this, this is his day off. Stream today. Yeah. I was gonna say this is his day off. I think the issue is um like you you play with a lot of people. Yeah. So like you you you'll commit like this Tuesday nights with this person, Wednesday nights with this person. I gotta play this with this person. Mm-hmm. If you, if we just like penciled out a schedule of like that's okay. Let's say every Thursday for the next four weeks we're gonna work for the campaigns. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I'm down. <laughs> 
I will fucking murder you. Thursday's scheduled. Yeah. That's our cooking day. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Every week that'll be our cooking day. Once Except he moves for out. This week. Like while you're here, it doesn't really matter as yeah, much. But yeah. once you move out, Thursday is our cooking day every single week. Yeah, yeah, Friday. I couldn't but, do Fridays. Well, I could, but then that's see, this the, is where everything the, falls apart. Yeah. And also, when we were talking about the Halo campaign, we were like, we want to do just one day a week. And you're like, ah, I don't know well, if I can do what that. What day is the question? And like, I could. Like, the after, thing is, is, days fill up real quick. After den- after ten, I'm free every day. But Shane goes to bed at ten. That's the issue. Like our schedule is the opposite. But, this that's the issue. Up at well, 5 like, a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so it depends. Like Thursday night. Like if Why can't you work after, out at 10? I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll be dead. You'll miss the window. You drink a coffee. I don't drink coffee. Drink a protein. With your legs shaking like this, I imagine take you would drink coffee. It so much take, energy in me from all that food. Take some fucking pre-workout. Think... I'm not working out at 10 p.m. Are you guys <laughs> fucked in the head? Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. What's wrong with yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Genuine question. What is wrong with that? I'm going to bed at like no, it sounds, 1 o'clock. You're like, you're, I, and if, I'll be yeah tired taking pre-workout that late. It's going to make me super jittery. You're and wound like, up. Yeah. I'll be trying to go to bed. I'll have like... <laughs> Although actually, what are we t- saying? We used to climb at like between 9 yeah, and 11. We didn't take pre-workout for it. That's yeah. fair. I'm doing like... I'm doing like... And to be we fair, should. Rob <laughs> also just fucking takes the tub and just... Powders it on his I face. I put a lot in these days. I need it because I finished work and I'm like dragging my feet. And it's like, you just no pre workout. Get some no fucking self motivation. It's hard, man. It's draining. <laughs> it's hard. Dragging my feet. Yeah, I watched a hockey game and napped. I know. <laughs> no, I'm so I know today was a cynical was, day, was, I was but... off today. Sorry. So that's the thing, though. Like, nights fill up again with, especially with like hockey. That's two nights a week. I'm so um, upset. Podcast. Next Leafs game's Tuesday at four. We're not I'm bringing this work. up. Get out of here. Bring it up right now. Leafs play at four. Yeah. I, well, I assume they're gonna get a noon game. Well, actually, they might do that, not do that to the Leafs because they're too Depends popular. how far they make it. Yeah. But the point is, yeah. it's very hard to schedule with the four of us. Yeah. At least, like, we've gotten into the system now where Mondays are like dedicated. Although, which is awesome. Someone forgot. I thought it was today. a Sunday, honestly, just because like it I didn't. Like work. It has been a like, weird week. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't think you were here yet, Shane. You might have heard, or maybe you were upstairs when it happened. But like, we were just filming, and then I was like, oh, like Drew, we have to quickly do the pork tenderloin, then we have podcast. And he, like his eyes light up, and then Bree like shoots up. She's like, "You're doing the podcast today? I didn't know this." <laughs> Monday night. And then I was like, yeah. "We do it every Monday." And she's like, "Well, I thought you weren't doing it today." <laughs> and then See, she's like, "Drew never told me." It was because I never told her. Because like usually at the end of a weekend when I work the next day, it's just a Sunday. So I was in yeah. that mindset. But we have Monday off, and today's a Monday, which all makes sense. It's mm-hmm. just like I just felt like just it was a Sunday, things. so I never said anything. Hey, we were talking about like we could move it to Tuesday, but I think both of us in our minds were like, no, nah, we're not moving. We're doing it. Yeah. Get it over with. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a spirit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Although next week you're not going to be here. No, I what? hundred percent can't. Yeah. What if we moved it to Tuesday? Hey, that's up to you guys. I'm not going to put my input there. Yeah. I, I, I can do it. I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. I could shift just, it around. What day do I come upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, we'd be more Actually, lucky yeah, to have. This is the, 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 next week's what the last week. Yeah. we can do that really yeah well i mean like you can still like if, if timing works and everything like Here's the i'll thing. just drive down Your on a tuesday instead is gonna fill up real quick now too drew Why? drew makes the claim that when he moves in with brie he's gonna be like the exact same level of availability that he is now i'm not moving in with brie or like when you move out of here massive because you're basically gonna be living with brie let's be honest no i don't think any more than i am now she might like come to, like yeah, I don't know. It's pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the whip's getting any longer. No, but the fucking the the, the leash the, and the, chain the, are this the severity. Uh, they, they're getting shorter. Yeah, fair. <laughs> fair. No, I don't know. We'll see. I just farted. It might smell. Just a heads up. Okay. I tried to sit on it. Thanks, I'm sorry. Man. Think about the day when Rob gets a girlfriend though. Or we'll lose for sure. Hundred oh, percent. Yeah, sure. buddy's gone. I'm, I'm never gonna have a girlfriend. You hear her here yeah, that's first. our whole. That's that's, that's maybe the only maybe thing we're we shouldn't on be pushing away from e girls. Like if he has e girls, that's a lot less physical understand. commitment. But the thing is also like, but he you got to remember whenever commitment. whenever they stream, I have my my flashlight. I'm he's gonna have to be there. True. So if it if that cuts into podcast, he'll literally be in the middle of podcast moderating her stream <laughs> while we're talking. Rob's Rob's getting time people out or says it's like hey, they look cute today. Time out. <laughs> See, for us, I don't think podcast will ever be an issue. It's like a Monday night easy. Yeah. And yeah. if we got to move, we got to move it. But it's going to be all the other random shit that we want to do. Mm-hmm. But again, you, which is where I'm there's like, only six more days in a week and they fill up real quick. Yeah. Which is where I'm like, oh, for bag boys variety stuff, like it'll, it'll be just it'll like whenever up. we want, yeah. not on a schedule. Correct. I also want to do the settlers thing. 
which we need to do soon because I have business expense that board, so we need to <laughs> use it in a business sense somehow. Yeah. Next Tuesday, we just have S- Settlers podcast. No, just <laughs> Chris is like <laughs> that, that no, could work. It's not a podcast. <laughs> They're playing ball it's simultaneously. Just, it's just discussing. Drew crying, Rob not knowing what's going on, and us just making no, fun of them. No, 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 no. I have five sheep. You're right about Drew, <laughs> but Rob being like sheep. <laughs> Rob, I have five sheep and one wood pile. I'm gonna build. Are we gonna build a house with this? Although I can't can I build even, a road? I didn't no, come last Rob. last time apparently. No, he no, did. Drew was fucking awful. Let's not get into this. What happened? I think that's a good question to bring to audience. If what? anyone who plays Settlers, if you start the game... You're leaving out so much... Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to Don't put it on the mic. It's going to fuck it up. The you, can, you can add whatever you'd like. But if you were to just settle on just ore, wheat, and sheep, do you think you're going to have a good game? And no ports. And three of them are a 2, 12, and 11. <laughs> yep. And then... You settle within a road of each other. So it's like a it's like a settlement, a road, a road, a settlement. How do you think your game is going to go? Not Here's good. the thing. I understand that is not the best strategical place to go. The problem mm-hmm, arises mm-hmm. when I lose because instead of me just having a poorly placed spaces and losing because of that, mm-hmm. you guys fuck me over intentionally because you're like you're a dumbass why'd you go there ha <laughs> ha Robert 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 so, Robert 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 and then my, I have no chance to get my bad cards so my counter argument Robert on all yeah, the my counter argument to that is in that game that we played oh, the robber man. literally sat on Amanda's base the entire time it did not no okay, once so, you once I was sufficiently fucked over you're like oh we'll just go screw over Amanda no. now she got ahead because we were too busy focused on this guy who was gonna lose anyway that's the game where we shut Amanda down and then I'm like jokingly like haha Drew you suck you're never going to expand into that spot because I'm going to block you in. And then I'm like, well, the only place I can grow is to block Drew in. So I cased him <laughs> in and won the game. And then when you guys tried to stop me at the end, it was robbing mine and Drew's two spots. <laughs> but it was too late. Yeah. But again, awful placement. And the worst, the worst part is, is like Drew was what? Putting, placing fourth? Yeah, like you, the person, so and, and you were fifth. Someone was fifth. They had better slots than Drew. I, I went first and last. Yeah, and my like I still managed to get both or like all five resources. And his last slot was better than Drew's first, probably. <laughs> my first spot was good. <laughs> my second spot was trolly. I wanted development cards, and you guys fucked me over because it's trolling. <laughs> we didn't fuck you. You did. You did. I just love how in all this, Rob's probably You're sitting all there like, it wrong. I, I, all I remember is sheep. It took him three quarters of the game. We're three quarters of the way through the, the game, and all Drew has produced is like three dev cards and two roads. That's it. <laughs> That's like all he's produced the I whole had three game. Three victory points, though. Jesus, man. Yeah. Anyway, Rob, like third game of Settlers. Yeah, you probably out. easily beat Drew. I still understand, like, the. <laughs> underlying framework of the game but it's fun to be part of the banter you get 10 points as long as you're not the one getting bullied yeah as is all things though yeah you just can't be in the people who get bullied are the people who make really really stupid moves which is just true and then (laughs) whoever's in first after what like five points that person gets beat up pretty bad too but they didn't you guys got blindsided by Amanda because you were so busy focused on me being a dumbass that you just let her do whatever she wanted here's the thing I won that game, so I'm happy. It all turned I came out in perfect. Second, nine yeah, points. you guys gonna say the thing it was, is, we were neck and neck. What's a minute like five? We just uh, shut her completely down. I'm gonna summit this mic. <laughs> but we, I won second place. You finished last. Congratulations! You're my, the one so who needs to work. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite board so game. So happy you got your sheep, Rob. His, his so knuckles, happy you got your dove. His knuckles are going white. <laughs> my favorite. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> my favorite board game overall moment and settlers uh, moment. Don't care. Was at Amanda's Jesus. like settlers tournament. Wasn't there. And it was the first one I'd gone to, and it was Irrelevant. the first time I was playing settlers. And I was at a table with um like two guys around my age. And then two kids and this older lady who's probably like 45, 50. I think you know who I'm talking Ancient. about. Yeah. Like, and how she talks all fossil. the time, takes super long on all of her turns. So every single turn she's going, she's had the whole time to go around. And she sits there and she's like, hmm, what do I want? <laughs> every single turn and every single time, like me and the one guy are just looking at each other like, what the fuck is going on? Like, You're going to kill she her. She had the entire I? turn. Yeah. And at the end, I was like, I needed one resource to win. And this other guy was like third place. I was like, what do you need to come in second? He told me. 
I was like, yeah. if you give me that one thing I need, I'll give you all the resources to come in second. I was like, you're not going to win. Which is very frowned upon. I was like, I'm going to win. <laughs> He's BMing then, in real life. And yeah. I'm pretty sure the person who was in second was that lady. So I was yeah. like, I will help you screw her, screw her <laughs> over. Have another. <laughs> and like, we can both benefit from this. And he like took a while to think about it. And the lady the entire time was just like, what are you doing? Like, you can't do this. Like, this is... Uh, Cohorting, cohorting, yeah. or whatever. Collusion. She Collusion. Was, she was, yeah. she was and then I was just like, just do it, dude. I was like, <laughs> just, just do it, fucking do it. Put us out of our misery. We were the last game to finish. Yeah, and because the way she it took works so long. Like, so the reason second and third are important is it's a point system. So the more mm. points you have after three games, that's how you move on. So Christian's screwing over some old lady. Was she was important. the worst. I would never want to play with someone like that again. What happens? Like mm-hmm. playing games with Annie? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Annie, at least, like, she'll plan her stuff out. The only time she takes a while is, like, when someone does what she was going to do and, like, mm-hmm. completely negates her turn. That last game of Settlers was Annie's best game of Settlers. Yeah, whereas that lady was, like, just straight up <sighs> didn't think about her turn until it was actually her turn. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted to shoot her. Just what a dummy. We were in a big, church. Big like fan. A, big fan. Of what? I just Losing. Old ladies. Settlers, I'm... That's that we're playing after, so get in the get Rob, into it. This won't mean much to you, but so I bought a board game because Drew recommended it. Yeah, he's like, it's such a fun board game. It's called Gizmos, and then we were playing. Pretty fun. Great game, by the way. Yeah, it, it's really fun. And then Drew's just like, it might, um, it might be a bit much that? for Rob. Is it an apostrophe from the board? Oh, it is. Um, <laughs> fuck. But anyways, so Drew was just like, explain the rules. We play the game, and then me and Shane finish. I got like 45 points. Shane got 40. Mm-hmm. And Drew's like, I think the highest I've ever seen was 30. He's like, that's in a crazy high game. Mm-hmm. And the next game I play, I get like 43 points. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Drew's just bad at this <laughs> to, game. To be fair, since then, I, I don't think I've crossed like fucking 20. I just got shit on every the first, game. Uh, the other two games we had were really bad. Games. Yeah. When we, I was going to say, when we played the other day, like, who was luck. winning? People were winning with like 20 points. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, the first time we played, it was like 45, 40, yeah, 30. It was what nasty. day was that? It was, it was like when you, you and... were studying and then you uh, could only join for one game at the end. It was like me, Annie, and Shane yeah. played. Or no, Amanda played yeah. with us. And he just chilled because we, we had started and then he's like, hey, can I play? That was the Settlers yeah. or something. And we're like, yeah, this is so awkward. No, you can't. <laughs> when I was a kid, I would buy like those games at like, the board game store and just for the action figures. You know what I mean? There's this one called, there's this one called Heroscape. Buddy. That like had the coolest fucking... You mean action. Hyperscape? No, Heroscape. <laughs> Hyperscape... We can talk about that after too, if you yeah, want. Yeah, I want to talk about that. But um, pretty much it was just like, you know, whoever boxed the coolest looking action figures, I just get it. And then I was like, <laughs> buying $80 board what's games a, for what, like what a little they, shit. What are instructions yeah. for? Who needs a, a book that comes with toys? Just fucking toss that shit. It's Bye, good. Drew. It's good. All right, hyperscape it is. It'll change his tampon, probably. <laughs> okay. It's got um, a small bladder. Um, but, so, hyperscape. I was going to say. It went exactly how the life cycle of that game was exactly how I thought it was. Exact opposite of what I expected. I thought mm. the game was going to do really well. You, th- you really thought so? I so Shane, do you know much about it? I general like me and Rob had talked about. It, he actually nailed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So for anyone listening who doesn't know, Hyperscape is the new battle royale by Ubisoft, where it's kind of different because it's like very fast paced, but the time to kill is very long. Insanely long. Where like so in Warzone, it's like five shots to kill yeah, someone some guns are the Bruin <laughs> like, is like two like, shots I was like, gonna say don't get raw started don't on, on average like five yeah, yeah. it's like you can kill Hi- like, you, know, you look at someone and they're dead if you see them first hyperscape unless you have the sniper rifle when you hit a headshot it's about 20 shots to kill that's crazy which is super so you just long. chase someone around shooting them for yeah. a minute and yeah. so when I was talking to dog about the game he's like the one thing he's got like the movement down pat he's got like every type of loadout down pat the one thing he's really bad at he said was tracking because like mm. in siege you just like flick to someone, shoot them three times, they're dead. Whereas in this game, it's like you flick to someone and you have to follow exactly where they're going while you're moving and while they're moving all at the same time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, so uh, the game I thought was going to do really well because it's a Both battle royale. Cr- I had way, way too much sugar today. <laughs> Jelly beans and fucking all that stuff downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shaky legs. <laughs> Anyways, just um, so the game came out. Jelly beans. Big streamers were tweeting about it. Like, Tifu said he loved the game, that he was addicted to it. Mm-hmm. Stopped playing it after a week. Um, and then now the game averages about 1,000 viewers on Twitch. It's only 1,000 now. I, well, at least when I looked at it last night, it was 1.5K. The highest stream was 300 viewers. Across Shit, all man. the streamers, too, yes. And, um, like, I'll pull it up right now, actually. And we'll yeah, find out. Let's see how much but, the live numbers are. So the viewership has basically died for it. And they also just made a huge change, which was, like, the 20 bullets or whatever to kill. 
Now that apparently they brought it way down, so it's more like other uh, battle royals. Faster time to kills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel like this can't be right. Hyperscape has fifty four viewers right now. <laughs> it's I'm like completely sure. dead <laughs> since he's last looked. The game is just completely. Okay, every other game has like normal viewers. Hyperscape somehow only has fifty. I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> I think that's fucked up. But <laughs> it's, point is, it's point is, point. game is dead. <laughs> yeah. Or dying. Yeah. I, I don't think that's right. I can't imagine that's right. It must be like a glitch on Twitch's end. Maybe. But the fact that the game has already died after like a week or two, and Ubisoft devoted a lot of resources to this game. Classic. Like this was supposed to be one of their biggest launches of this year. Because it came out of nowhere. They put a trailer out, which their trailer was awful. It, was, it showed <laughs> nothing. Like it didn't tell anyone what the game was or anything. People were so confused. Yeah. Until someone leaked everything. No, it's 57 total viewers. Hyperscape. I can't... I'm going to screenshot that, problem, but I can't imagine like, that's real. Every time I'm like, oh, like I'll give Hyperscape a, a chance. Like I'll go to, I'll go to watch and I just don't stay for more than three minutes. Like there's it's so much a, going on visually. It's just like, so that's how I thought. Someone's playing Hyperscape when they're playing Siege. <laughs> <laughs> so they tried to make Cross the game, <laughs> they tried to make the game as like Twitch friendly as possible by making it like you do polls. Mm -hmm. Because you can affect the gameplay. Mm -hmm. So, like, viewers can vote on what they want your sector to have, which is, like, infinite ammo, extra jumps, like, low gravity, stuff like that. Um, which is, like, they're trying really hard to make it that Twitch integration, but it's still just flopped mm -hmm. like crazy. So, like, I don't know what they're going to do. What game was like that where it was, like, I don't know, 10 people in, like, a circle versus each other? And, like, you could, like, have polls and stuff. And they could get stuff or they could... I don't remember. Holes? Minecraft Hunger yeah. Games? That's, what, that's immediately what I thought It was like the same of. kind of concept, but like it, sections would close down. I don't remember what it was called. Wait, was it the one with like a like a lot of big streamers were yeah. always the 10 people and they had like a host that would yes. go around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that was called... That game looks sick. If, sick if oh, you had a group of people. Minecraft Hunger Games? No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, I know what you're talking about. You can I, continue. But... I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Like it was amazing, but I think it's Never because you're it. right. It was only big streamers that ever played. But I don't know, man. It's just like something Rusty? about no, no, like the background and the movement and everything. It's just like it's hyperscape. It's so much that I'm just numb to everything I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just like because everyone's like, you should try, it, you should try, you should try. It. I'm like, I don't know. I just like for me, BRs. It's like Fortnite, for example. You can kill someone in one shot. Wars can kill someone in one shot. If you put yourself in a position to kill someone, you should mm -hmm. be able to get the kill. Hyperscape, it's like you get like you see someone first, you make a move on them. You still have to chase them around for like another fucking five or ten minutes just to get the kill. And I was like, I, I see this game really really bugging me. Uh -huh. So I was like, I don't know if that's even worth Rob investing made, any time. Rob into. watched like two minutes of gameplay and well, I was like, this isn't for me. I'm well, not gonna like, play. The first thing I saw, but, was, and this is coming from a dude that has played pretty much every battle royale for the last yeah. like two years. And to be fair, if you watch two minutes of a game and you just know immediately that you don't want to do anything, like. Mm. Well, that's I was not like, your fault. I don't want to. Oh, that's awesome. I don't want to force myself to try it and like get triggered and blah 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 and waste mm -hmm. waste time doing it. But I don't know. The fact it has fifty seven concurrent viewers right now is just. It I makes can't sense. find it, but it had this guy right, the one on the right, as like the character. You had like a bow yeah. and arrow. You'd go around like snow areas. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. Was it like real life or? So Hard it to explain. it came out as like a closed game where only. The top streamers could play it. Sure. So like Lyric, Summit, like any of the and big again, ones. There would be a host in each game. And so yeah, they'd have like a commentator who had like a invisible character he could fly around and he but would it was go like to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it was okay. I like so it would be it was literally like Hunger Games, um, yeah. where they had like a dome and sections would cut off after a while, and um, the commentator would come up to someone who was like by themselves and be like, hey, like how you doing? Like how's the game going for you? And yeah. ask some questions, and then they would talk in game to talk to the host. And then viewers could vote on stuff. I stuff, can't remember. There's, there's like somewhere just like you'd place a bounty on someone's head. They'd yeah. Show their location for like two minutes and they could get hunted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then. It was sick. I had kind of like a mix. It was kind of like uh, Minecraft Hunger Games in a sense where like you could craft stuff. I remember mm -hmm. you could get like resources. Uh, one of the things you started with was like a snowball, which was like a very small way nice. to do damage. And then the other was like a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. And you had to like break things down and combine. Yeah. I just remember watching it. Now it clicked. I remember watching Force and Play. 
because this was yeah, like there was he, like a big tournament was like Force and Shroud all the biggest streamers, and I'm pretty sure somehow Force and came out with the win, <laughs> and like I just remember just going nuts. Being like, <laughs> how did this fucking guy pull Darwin it? Darwin Project. Yeah, that's what it was. But called. he, he somehow actually. like it was yeah. like Force and with like 49 points, Shroud with like 46, and then the next closest was like someone with like 20. Like they just cleaned house and like so out here. that mm -hmm. game would only ever get viewership on Twitch because like big it was names. only big streamers, so it would have to be like scheduled dates. And then after a while, I think they opened it up to just random people, but it then just didn't do well, so they shut down the game completely. Hmm. Oh, so it's not even a thing anymore. No, it's completely gone. Interesting. Star Citizen. I'm gonna go see if I can find like old archive videos of it. It's very, it was it very was entertaining. I, I watched it a few times. I think, and I think it's as you said, just big names. So it was mm -hmm. sweet. It was interesting, and like some of the best shooters that were playing at yeah. the time. Like I would watch Shroud play it a bunch. I think I watched uh, Lyric play it a few times just because mm -hmm. he was always on it. Like Rob said, like it definitely rings a bell now. That you see yeah, that Darwin Project. Project. It does. I remember hearing that. It was mm -hmm. one of the first battle royales where they brought out like tournaments. Oh, really? Because no other Battle Royale, I think, up to that point had really done tournaments. Because it was even, like, pre-Fortnite. But you're right. They didn't really have it open. It was just big people could play it. Then they tried the game, and no one played it. And they're like, okay, we're done. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. All right. They mm -hmm. kind of shot Fun themselves project. in the foot by making it closed or mm -hmm. whatever. But after a while. Another game that we should do with the community is, like, I, I don't know. It's, like, where you're at a camp, and there's, like, one guy is, like, the murderer. And you um, all got to get the resources to leave. Friday the 13th? I think so, yeah. yeah. We should all play that. that It'd be sick. Fun, yeah. Wait, what? It's like, uh, so you're one person's Jason, you know, from Whoa. Friday the 13th. Jason the ruler. And then, so everyone else, it's game. like one versus eight. So the guy can just kill you. And um, you have like proximity chat as well. So you can talk to people while you're chasing them and stuff. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then everyone else has to like, you can either fix the car and then you can drive away. But even when you're fixing it, like Jason can fucking chase you and break Jason down the car really um and it's then like there's boat. other ones like yeah a boat <laughs> like get a phone to work so you can call for a backup um and like all these mm -hmm. different options and he basically just has to try to stop you and kill you all the best is like watching people like drive this car and like he can kind of like run fast slash teleport just stops in the middle of the road and when he gets hit by the car he doesn't budge but the car just gets fucked <laughs> and then he can like rip people out of the car and just insta kill them. It's, it's, it, I don't know. It's pretty cool, but I think you I have think, to have a group of people. Say, um, a lot of the videos I saw were people like they weren't even really playing the game anymore. They were just role playing. So like the Jason yeah. guy would talk with like a really high pitched voice and like, like oh I'm coming to get you and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Just like creep people just out. Cool. But, like they weren't yeah. really even playing yeah. the game at that point. That whole story I just imagined Jason being Jason Derulo <laughs> after <laughs> Drew said that. <laughs> A murderous Jason Derulo. Like comes up behind you, Jason Derulo. Dancing, yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be pretty scary, though. If you hear the Jason Derulo, you're about to get stabbed in the fucking okay. gut. Man, yeah. machete. Fuck that. Stabbed by a machete. You're right. That's what one, machetes are for. One community thing I want to do, though, is like the Halo custom games. Like, we'll for get sure. like a yeah. group of us who we want to like do in voice chat, and then everyone else can just join and play. But doing like jump rope would be super cool with all the people. Oh, man, all the games. Yeah. Like, that we, game where we're just shooting things at, like, the Jenga game would be sick. Like, every game would be sick. Imagine with the 16 people on that one little... Oh, you'd be stacked. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> it, but, like, it would actually be fun. Like, it would be amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was awesome just, like, what, four or five of us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't imagine. That would be great. Or they're racing. <laughs> just drive the other way, knocking all the... Dude, that race... I that got was... so mad. The shitty thing is, is, like, it's not like any other racing game. Like, or it is, like, the realistic ones where if you fuck up once, you, you cannot catch up. Yeah, because yeah. the people up front chance aren't gonna fuck up. So I was so far behind. I'm like, fuck this. Pops a U-turn and just <laughs> destroyed whoever was in first. The one thing with like GTA racing that I was always like, oh, it's pretty unbalanced. If you have like a really good car, at least they You're had catch up on. Yeah. So like you could usually, as long as you didn't fuck up again, you could make there, some. There progress. weren't no catch up in Halo. <laughs> no. I was just getting, I just get fucked. I sucked. Basically, eventually Shane was just driving backwards and like. <laughs> I, I stopped at one point just to make it more interesting because I was far ahead. I like stopped sideways for you. Yeah, at a yeah, ramp no. to try to like fuck over whoever was behind me and everyone just like drove past me. Yeah. But I'm, <laughs> and I was I'm like, driving oh. full speed. So if someone tries to dodge, I just got to cut in front of them and on each side of the track is water. You go in the water, you're fucked. You have to respawn at the last checkpoint. Because oh like there's only once. five of us. Yeah. Someone did you, you joined me after, didn't you? I, well, I dodged you once and the second time you <laughs> got me, so I was like, all right, we, we in it now. But it was basically like I... Uh, so I went from like first being in third and then I think it was Doggo and Drew in front of me. And I know I, I tagged Doggo. And then like, I'm like, sure. I'm just driving and <laughs> I'm like, who's who's that? And then I see Shane like around the bend <laughs> coming full speed and Shane. just like, 
<laughs> kamikazes into Drew and just all you comes around the corner, huh? As you say, all you hear is the horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, got, I, got, I haven't played a custom game in Halo forever because when we played, it's been like capture the flag. And you know what we were playing? We were yeah. playing some big team too, like capture the flag. That was fun. On that, big like, team is foundry, so much fun. What's, yeah. that, what's that map I like? Fuck, man, all the Valhalla. game Valley, Valley Desert. Desert. Like I can't, I can't. I was getting shit on. I wasn't doing well, and I can't think. I'm like I don't think I was there wasn't a point where I was like this is shit like there yeah. are those games I was going like 5 and 15 and we were losing like capture the flag and I'm sitting there like this is still fucking sick yeah it's still fun it's yeah like, like, it's hard to rage at Halo I always I find. definitely I, like I don't know why more, I just, yeah like some of you're playing SWAT I pissed me off a lot but SWAT that. that's, that's like it's again, just like headshots only basically it's yeah. a headshots oh, yeah. or one <laughs> shot <laughs> It's like, like you can either hit them in the body ten times or once in the head. It was like uh, the they game might mode, hate that. The yeah. game mode, the infection it's game siege. mode. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where you're like, you have the pistol, and if you're infected, you just get up on a high point. And it's so hard. You have to until yeah. you get that first guy with you. It's like impossible. Just the, until then, you're just, you're just getting roasted by everyone with shotguns oh, and shit the entire time. Yeah, but yeah. regardless, head like it was fantastic. Yeah. I actually look forward to playing again, mm -hmm. which is rare in games, <laughs> especially for a shooter. Yeah, yeah. For which me, is also yeah. nice that we have like a big group of people, and we can actually fit. Well, and that's a big the best. Group. Like we have a big yeah. group of people who are who want to play. Because like yeah. stuff like Siege, it's like okay, even if you have a big group who wants to play, it's like you need five. Yeah, we can max. fit what eight on a team. And if we have more than eight, we just do customs. customs. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Halo love coming that, out to PC is one of the best things that's Love ever that you guys happened. made me get yeah, it. it's fantastic. It's sick. Yeah, but, Can't oh, wait for you to join. I wish... Uh, yeah, well, well, you were playing with us the other day. I played uh, last You played like two sometime. games. I was going to say, uh, what yeah, were you playing I, with I us? I came on late. I was like 11 one night. And you guys were still going. Because Jax was like, you should come. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Dude, it's it's so fun. Yeah. Great game. Well, I, I, I've like played, I love Halo. I've always played it. It's just yeah. haven't played it recently because it's been. It's just like the perfect mix of nostalgia, but also on PC, so it feels kind of new. Yeah, it mm -hmm. feels really weird playing it on PC. It does. Yes. Correct. Um, I, I can feel like I need headshots to... now. Well, I also I'm feel like a controller. Whip so. out the remote. Yeah, it feels the same for me. I'm on controller. Also, uh, <laughs> one thing I showed chat because like I've I've recorded everything we've done in Halo so far. Just because oh, like, God. what if we ever use it for something? There's actually a lot of good funny moments. There's so many funny things, <laughs> and the best one is I showed chat was just like us chatting, and then like. 30 seconds of silence rob joins no one says anything and then is that a vagina <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all I, your oh, fucking yeah. gamer icons <laughs> i showed that the chat like just the audio and they were yeah. dying there was literally like it took us the fact that we sat in a loading screen for 10 15 like i'm not exaggerating trying to make the perfect vagina <laughs> it with worked our, with our succeeded. symbol or icon just and because all, we saw one person yeah, and, yeah, they're all different shades of flesh we have too. four different <laughs> shades <laughs> oh yeah someone was like midnight black i was like oh gosh <laughs> that would be true <laughs> yeah uh, mine's the inverse because yeah. no, what i was saying i was like i was like these look like vaginas, but like, are they? Is this something? Rob's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it can't like, be. It can't be. <laughs> no, they are. No. But good times. They, they uh, we are mm. reaching the end of the podcast, if I'm not mistaken. I think we started around eight. Sweet. So, uh, any final mistaken. thoughts before we? Mm. What question off? are we leaving? Hmm. This is the question, Bionni. <laughs> okay. That was a statement. Dude, I don't know what's looks happening. Dazed. That looked like it hurt him. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> oh, buddy, put the locks away. Jeez. Um, no, hat. no hat for the rest of the episode. Fuck that. lettuce is rotten. I was going to say, we could uh, ask them about what they want to see on this channel for variety. Yeah. Because, sure. like, yeah, so like like we're going to have, like, games or just or ideas. Games. Like, board games, ideas. board games, yeah, maybe do random. Do our work for, for us. <laughs> yeah, again, I, I already forget his name. Fuck. Um, the uh, something Ka. Ryan. 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 Ryan Cobb. Was Adam. Was his name? No, it, no, was, it, was it was started with an R. <laughs> it was it was Ryan. It was Ryan. It was Ryan or Adam. Very similar <laughs> names. Sure. But yeah. I think it was Bobbert. Bobbert? That's my name. So yeah, well like what do you guys want to see on this channel basically? Cause... Major Shoot Larry? What that game is? Yes. Do you guys know what that is? No. No. Let's Google it. Okay. Thanks. Go to Laser Quest when quarantine's over. Strap grow pros to ourselves. Be a POV laser quest. I got oh I got a good laser quest story for next time. Cool. Okay. Of bullying in school. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Keep it to yourself. <laughs>
No, it was great. It was great. It was funny. <laughs> I'll save my stories for the. Next <laughs> There's, one. I got a lot of good. We used From a laser, laser quest. quest. Oh, I used to have for birthday. I used to, yeah, every birthday. Yeah, I got a black eye laser quest. <laughs> These are it. the type of stories. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's what I'm saving. All for right, me. so give us ideas, and uh, next see? week we'll talk about laser. Board games as well. Like, will probably be a big thing. Yeah, yeah. We can throwing. get like a above angle. We can get some different angles and stuff. Re- again, all we realistically need is an above, and anything else is just bonus and yeah. like maybe this camera a table shot um, well i think feel like if we were to do settlers this setup would be perfect yeah for that camera and then we just need something above i also really do everything. think that if we did the um men at work we could that do would be that a with, very good with one. this setup mm-hmm. and i don't even know if you need you you could use the upper cam too it'd be perfect like you may as well use it though like. honestly one thing i'm thinking of doing is just drilling something into the roof you have a drill. i have a drill just to put a camera up there <laughs> yeah, and have it sort that up like there. one of those like you have the thing over there whatever that metal yeah, thing yeah, is. yeah we could set something like that up here somewhere just like attach a string <laughs> it just <laughs> rocks around yeah but you know what i mean we could do yeah, something yeah. Don't I just want to try something because, like, I feel like any type of long rod will be really unstable and start to shake. Mm-hmm. Whereas if we just mount it on, we'll the have roof, to get up in the attic ride. and hook something. We could up, even but... just put that arm hanging down from it. Like, just... It wouldn't shake. It's in the ceiling. True. It shake Regardless, how would just got in the stand and told yeah. something like this the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> He's there for two but hours. But Annie, you can't be shown on camera. You have to <laughs> <laughs> just falls dead. <laughs> ah, to wash, throw out the footage, yeah. get it out of here. Anyway, yeah. Too shaky. We'll, uh, we'll we'll figure some stuff out. Leave mm-hmm. some comments yeah. about Give us what some you ideas. want to see. We gotta try to do that before Drew leaves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's gonna. That's two weeks. We're not getting that done in two weeks. We might, maybe. Never this know. is the man who thought that we could put all those ceiling panels in in twenty minutes. It yeah. literally took us ten minutes. It took us three hours. <laughs> I just love that. Slight like, disparity. <laughs> literally, I walk in. I'm like holding. I'm touching the roof. I'm like, oh, man, we need to use chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. that's it for podcasts. See you guys next week. Bye. Big trust. Big trust.